Hello, welcome back again to NX Progressive Die Tutorial. So, in here I would like to explain about relief design. So, relief design actually creating a whole, a series of a solid shape, and subtract all the all the dice, and so you can create a whole. For example, if you want to accommodate this shape, then you must create a hole in your uh, in your dice. So, like this one relief design so I will go now to the parts now relief design we go into this tool relief design uh, perhaps I, you can see in here I want to create there are two options the first is the bonding box and the second is use define Perhaps I'm gonna use use define first. So in here we must have a volume to accommodate this shape because when you see here in static wireframe, you see uh, this shape have interference with the a uh, die base, the lower part of the die base itself. So in here I'm gonna make uh, quite similar like this. I click face. Okay, select curves. So I'm starting to make a sketch. Okay. And now in here I'm gonna make something similar like this. I go into project curve. Okay. Output curve type, okay. Tolerance, project curve, click OK. After that, I'm gonna make an offset. Select this uh, curve, connected curve. So this is the shape. Okay, maybe it's too large. Maybe 2.5 millimeters, so it will not interfere with this section. Convert info to input to reference. Okay, it's done. And then after that, I click finish. I do some extrude. So in here, I do some extrusion. I must check the static pipe frame. Is it okay with this height? Is it will accommodate the shape? If okay, and then I agree. So now in here you can see you can see we have a 3D solid that I will use to make a hole in here and this 3D solid I can a copy in order to make same hole to the rest of the of the parts in here now, to make the copy here, uh, I will use same tools. I I'm going to use copy, select the solid. I select the solid I already made. The numbers: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I'm going to make eight. Create in original location. Okay, click apply. Okay, it create eight. Now after this, the next thing I should do is to find another interference. The interference that will be happen in here. So I should make the pocket also here. I going back to relief design click create user define select face okay select curves create the sketch here I want to create the sketch 
using static wireframe so I can see the the shape I can use project curve again here and maybe here also here and here okay offset curve I think this this enough. Five millimeters to point five. Okay. Now I'm gonna use make corner. Get some fillet here. Okay. Click finish. The height I should check it will accommodate because you can see here. Okay, if you click OK, and then after that, I create the copy of this one, two, three, four. Five six. One two three four five six. Yes. Click this part. The number six. Click OK. Now it's good. It create the copy. Okay. The next thing I should do again is to investigate. Now this also need a bonding box. This also need uh, relief. So in the previous example, I using use define. Now I'm going to using the bonding box. Click here. Select face. When I click select face, uh, you can see the uh, the box automatically huge like this so maybe I will select face the smaller face so I can start with a small box because it's the box too big uh, it's very difficult to work okay I'll go back to static wireframe select F8 okay from here done now I will copy here to here but unfortunately uh, in NX I just can copy from here to here so I cannot copy directly here so it means I have to make the other one also okay I select face face yeah okay now I forgot to extrude this so it means I have to edit 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 the bonding box as you can see reduce the millimeters edit the bonding box now you see this one okay let me check first I think it's okay I think it's enough it's good now and then Okay, maybe the radius I should make it set larger. You can use three millimeters, or you can five. You can see the changes. 
click OK. Now I want to see is it enough? Yes, it's enough and it's fit. But maybe this top. Oh, I'm sorry. But maybe this top side gonna be a problem. So I'm going to use edit again. Click the bonding box and then you click edit bonding box. Slide like stood. Okay, that is enough. So you also can make a hole for the upper part. Why? Now in here also, I think we're gonna have some trouble. So select the leaf solid, edit bonding box, change the extrusion a little bit. Okay. Okay. Now in here. I'm gonna make some bonding box create oh sorry select face remember to select the small face And here we have feature to copy. Maybe I can copy from here to here. Let me check. Nope. It cannot copy. So it means that I have to make another one. should accommodate this volume okay okay yes. now we have all the bonding box I think also we should add into this also. Now I create copy. It's just one to get this bonding box. Okay, I think it's the place was complete. So the bonding box is now complete. The next step is to create pocket design. So I want to create hole using this box. Using subtech material, select body, tool, select components. You can see it's select all. So it means I also must have two bodies selected. Okay. Associative, you can check or you can uncheck, it's up to you. But if you uncheck, uncheck the associative, the link is broken, so it means now independent. You can see the link is broken. The HD3D tools will appear if something wrong happen, But actually it's not something wrong because it's just only the link broken. So you can close go back again and try to hide the relief now you can see in here we have the pocket to accommodate this shape in here also we have the pocket to accommodate the shape in here also we have a, a pocket to accommodate all the shape now the next thing after you create the pocket 
from the leaf now it is time for you to create a hose to accommodate all the lifter or the pilot punch pilot holes and all the equipment that I will show you right now okay this all these parts need hole on the die base so it means that you have to create some holes but you should not create one by one manually you can create using this pocket design so in here using same subtech material select the body all the die base body in the lower die base body as you can see in here and then the tool type using components and then you select all the components and actually auto automatically select all the components you can see here it's highlighted and then after that you uncheck this associative because if you check this one uh, it's still associative but sometimes it's not working and error will be occur so you click OK now everything is done it's already make a hole I will show you for example if I click here I going to make display part now you can see all holes created automatically So now I'm gonna do the same thing for the upper part, upper dice, in this one, upper dice, and hide the lower dice. I'm gonna do the same thing, pocket design, subtech material here. The target is all the dice, all the die plate. So this is all the target that I'm going to make a hole, make some, and then the tool type is the components. So I select all, all the components, now you can see all the components highlighted, and then I go click OK. Okay, now it's completed. You can see the upper also completed. You see, it automatically create holes. So it means that the dice, both upper and lower dice, and all the equipment is completed. So I think uh, I will go to the next step, the motion simulation. Here, we process motion and run simulation, but maybe I will do it in the next video. So the next step will be after the pocket design. The step will be motion simulation, and of course I will also will explain about bill of material and the motion simulation more or less will be same like this